Arriving to China via the visa-free transit rule means that we can only stay in one province. Luckily, the Great Wall of China is only an hour and a half away from Beijing and within the capital region. There is no way we could miss seeing one of the seven wonders of the world, so we booked a slot on a local tour, grabbed a bus and headed to the Great Wall of China. Every step is a free fall for me. <laughs> this is one of the most incredible places we've ever been. This is just stunning. You feel like you're walking through history. This area of the wall is over 600 years old. And yeah, you feel the history when you're here. The mountains surrounding this place are just incredible. I can't believe we're here. One of the seven wonders of the world. <sighs> Stunning. And it's just an hour and a half from the center of Beijing. <sighs> incredible. Ну как вам? Я вчера сказала то, что это идеальный город, но вот были бы тут горы, было бы вообще. И мы сегодня едем и тут горы. I didn't expect to see mountains like this, and I didn't expect to feel the way I do. And I can't even explain how I feel. Тут даже пахнет обалденно. Тут пахнет. I smell of autumn. Yeah. And you just feel history, right? You, you can feel... Yeah. How grand it is. How, you yeah, can the feel the scale, scale of it. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm just shocked. You see on the left, the scenery is just mind-blowing. You look on the right, <laughs> and you see a wall. And then you look for the hole here. <laughs> and it's just jaw-dropping. And you can get a great exercise walking around here. I feel like our legs are definitely going to shake at the end of the day. My legs were shaking this morning, so I'm already in trouble. Oh wow, that's sick. <laughs> Apparently we're going up to the best viewpoint there is up here. Very exciting. I mean, if it looks that beautiful now, что будет дальше? Но вот эта часть, боже, она пугает. So the first part of the wall was originally erected in the 7th century BC, uh, 700 years BC. What's that? The 8th century BC. But it took 20% of the Chinese population at that time of the Qing dynasty to build this wall. And 10% of the Chinese population died building this wall. So as well as being known as the Great Wall, it's also known as the Wall of Tombs. So we're heading all the way up there to the viewpoint on the 20th tower and from there we're going to be over a thousand meters above sea level and the view should be insane. We are currently in the Mutianyu section of the wall which is one of the two places you can see the wall on a day trip from Beijing but how we understand this is the more quiet of the two and we also got here at 10.30 in the morning so there's a lot less people and yeah to be honest I didn't imagine that it was going to be this empty and we were going to basically have the entire place to ourselves it is just unreal Sky and video we were just talking about it to think how many people visited this place throughout the years it's insane so I would have answered then to preview back on. Are you talking anymore? It's getting worse. <laughs> it is. It's gonna get worse before it gets better. Uh, the view's gonna be worth it. 100%. Keep telling yourselves that. <laughs> Everyone's just saying hi, welcome to China. <laughs> yeah. 
Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaning more towards your answer. <laughs> Let's have a break. I had a little break, let's go. Let's go. The last part's a bit more of a scramble than just a walk. If it's gonna be if he's gonna be worth it. as bad as it looks. <laughs> 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 Как ты видишь то своим ростом? We just arrived at the Temple of Heaven and it's located in a massive park. So we're just walking around and I think it's located somewhere over there in the middle. We just wanted to walk around here and then head to the temple itself. The entrance is 34 yuan each. So you need to purchase a ticket before you get in. So we did. And now we're here. There's so many different places to go within this park and things to see that you could quite easily spend half a day here just in this park. And yeah, when you look at the map, there's different sections and different gates that you can enter and exit from. And it's just incredible. I'd like to say, to be honest, it's a massive change of pace from the outside city. But to be honest, Beijing in general, 
doesn't seem like one of these really loud, really busy over the top cities. And I'm surprised to say that. I was expecting it to be exactly that when we came here. But yeah, compared to let's say Tokyo or where we've just come from in Vietnam, it's incredibly quiet and free of traffic. And uh, yeah, it's just a quiet, nice city to walk around in general. But anyway, the park is still a lovely place to come to soak in the smell and just feel the atmosphere. There is a Chinese rose garden. Definitely want to go there, but it's going to smell amazing. Garden. Let's go and sniff them. <laughs> so many flowers. I want to sniff those ones first. Wow, they're so good. Look at that. Matt, sniff this one. It smells so good. It smells like candy, it's like rose sweetie. It's so good, I haven't smelled rose that beautiful before. Mm. It's okay. unusual, right? Yeah. Really tasty. I'm the sniffer in this family. <laughs> no one gets that excited. <laughs> there was a bee inside that rose. <laughs> Close call, I guess, this time. This is my heaven. I'm not surprised. It's lovely, the smells are incredible. Even from here, you get a slight waft. Yes. I suggest we go have a look around the temple and then go and get some food. I'm getting peckish. Deal. 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 Picture with them. I'm gonna touch it. Yeah, we, we usually live in Canada. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. How long are you here for? For three weeks. Oh, okay. Yeah. She's actually she's born here. Yeah. Uh, but we just immigrated to Canada. How long have you lived in Canada? How many years? Like, uh, Ten years. Ten years, oh, okay. Yeah. It's already home, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit, but mostly in Beijing. It's my family that are here. Sure. Mostly, yeah, living in Beijing. And you two, you're also from Beijing originally? No, I'm from uh, Taipei. Oh, you're from Taipei, from Taiwan, eh? Nice. Oh, that's amazing. Nice. Sorry, we won't take too much of your sure. time. Happy to. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have an amazing Have day. Time. Have a good trip. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you too. Have a good day. Bye bye. Nice to meet you. Have fun. Thank you. They're good pictures as well. Oh my god. I look so awkward. <laughs> Typical. Uh -huh. Find the Russian in a picture. Hello. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> There's definitely certain parts of the park that aren't so empty and are definitely very, very crowded. But just look at this view. Wow. 
Ava. So right outside of the park, on the east gate, there is a market which is called Hong Chao Market and it's also known as the Fake Market and it's here in Hong Chao that you're supposed to be able to find anything fake that you want from fake Rolexes to fake clothes to anything else you can imagine so uh, yeah let's go and take a look and um, see if the rooms are true market will have to wait because we smelt something amazing and this is a certain type of chicken noodles from Xi'an we think but yeah they look incredible and smell even better so uh, yeah bon appetit we'll go to the market in a minute you tried it already <laughs> really good amazing. the noodles are so big wow we were just saying how interesting it is that these big types of noodles are so similar to different types of Italian pasta that you get. And when you think that Xi'an was the start or the finish of the, the ancient Silk Road and Venice was the other end, it's interesting to see how this sort of dish, a noodles or pasta, depending on what you call it, has been passed along. And the traditions are so similar, even here in China, there's so many similarities to European cuisine. Amazing. It's so good. I find it incredibly interesting. Mm -hmm. Culinary, like, um, traditions that have been passed along the Silk Road is just incredible. You were saying how similar this is to Uzbek Lagman. Yeah, well. like, it tastes nothing like Lagman, but you have your pasta, you have your meat, you have carrots, potatoes, so the ingredients are similar. And I find it fascinating because I love food, I like tracing all these steps down, how it affects the culture, how people cook, what they eat, you know, what spices they use. Yeah, different ingredients, different spices, but the traditions and the methods are so similar, despite thousands of miles of distance. Ooh, that is better. Let's head to the market. Oh, oh. 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 But this is so typically China. To be honest, when we heard about this market, we thought it was going to be like an outdoor market, you know, a bit like you see in certain Soviet countries, maybe in a like a some sort of factory looking building. But this is like a modern shopping mall, basically, isn't it? Mm -hmm. This is no different to MBK in Bangkok. <laughs> <laughs> Не думаю. На самом деле мне очень интересно, если все фейк, потому что все выглядит очень хорошее качество. Ты думаешь? Well, that's what I mean. When you look at like the, the technical stuff, it all looks like real. 
Yeah. 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 If I weren't, we weren't told in advance it was fake. Это фейк интересно или это типа старые чьи-то перепродают? Или которые типа упал с грузовики? Или так? So each floor seems to have its own little flavor. This was the yeah. This is the the technical themed floor. It seems with all sorts of iPhones, even your brand new Pitnut 15 Pro. Pitnut Pitnut Steer. Oh my God. <laughs> I just spent three months speaking Russian more than English. <laughs> on some, as a human being, is more than life itself. Eon makes a wonderful designer. On which affordable. Это ты по in reverse. Yeah, ты я in reverse. Jewelry store on the jewelry floor. The jewel jewelry floor. The jewelry floor. Nailed it. Smashed it. Nailed it. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. Oh, we're on the Fabergé floor now. They know how to get me. What do you reckon this is real? What is it? No, but is why is this like that? Don't you you like put your cigarettes in there or something? Oh, really? <laughs> I think you put like toothpicks in there or something like that. I will not touch that because I might break it. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I love BJ t-shirt, which means what? Oh, Absolutely, of course it does. That's the first thing I thought of. We were told, we were told this is the fake shop. And I'm like in my head, but is it though? That's what I was saying downstairs. I'm like when you look at all of the technical stuff, it looks like good quality. <laughs> You're like, are you sure? <laughs> Maybe it's not. A fake chandelier. One that doesn't light up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so to be honest, that was all kind of civilized. <laughs> that wasn't quite what we were expecting. I think we were all expecting sort of more of a a cattle market vibe yeah. with people shouting at you from left, right, and center, and just yeah, lots of people around, lots of bargaining. And there was a little bit of that going on, but it was all very civilized. <laughs> but there still was a lot of different things you could buy from clothes to technical equipment to jewelry. I think it's a nice place if you want to buy something. Yeah. But we got the point of what it looks like. Now we want to head out somewhere random, just outside the city center. Yeah. Just to have a look around what like the normal ish area looks like. And we did buy one thing, by the way, we bought some a uh, Chinese hamburger. We Hopefully they're not fake. Hopefully it is actually me. Give it plastic. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the underground here is really easy to work out. The hardest one to work out is Tokyo from anywhere we've been. <laughs> I don't know, it's <laughs> nothing, I'm agreeing. <laughs> So we came off at a station called Dongsi, which we just picked at random, um, just to have a look at a more sort of lived in, less touristy area of Beijing. Not really sure if this is or not. As I say, we just picked it at random, but so far it looks it, it looks a lot quieter and the buildings are a lot smaller and quaint than in the very center itself. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna have a little walk around and have a look at normal daily life here in Beijing going by.
，你好。这边你好，你好。So we mentioned in the last video、um, here in Beijing about how many bikes there are in the city. And that's true, but there's also a lot of scooters, as in mopeds, just like there were in Vietnam. But the big difference is between here and Vietnam is unlike the gas guzzlers there were here, most of the mopeds here in Beijing are like this, electric mopeds, which is obviously amazing, really good for the environment. And <laughs> but the only issue with that is they are so quiet you can't hear them. <laughs> so when you're crossing the road <laughs> or anything like that. These mopeds come at you out of nowhere, <laughs> and I'm just literally crossing the road. Had two sweep right across me, and you can't hear them at all until the last moment, until they literally whiz out in front of you. <laughs> wow! Look at that building. Wait, St. Petersburg. It's the Chinese branch of the Winter Palace. <laughs> <laughs> It's a fake one. It is. We're still not in the market. Hello. <laughs> See you later. Even on little streets like this, there's still public toilets. Ni hao. Oh yeah, yeah. Opa. Wow. Ni hao. Hello. <laughs> 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 How are you? Hello. Good. How are you? <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye, Zaijian. <laughs> I want a bike like that. <laughs> This is if ever we get a van and we do van life, this is what we get in. What do you reckon? To be honest, for us, there's plenty of space. Nikhil. Nikhil. What? No, you're gonna joke about it. No man, too far. Okay. Okay. I don't know. Look, put a, put a bed in the back. The thing Perfect. is, I will agree to it, and then when it comes to it, you're like, you said you remember the machine. <laughs> It's your fault. Uh huh. Hello. Hello. This is definitely one of our favourite things to do. Even in a city like this, even in a massive megapolis, you can always find little areas where you can get away from the hustle and bustle, where you can see what life used to be like. And um, yeah, people are so so friendly. Even when you just walk down their random street holding a GoPro, everyone says hello, everyone's smiling. Yeah, Love it. Hello. Ni hao. <laughs> I'm back into the city. Never too far.
Good morning from Beijing Capital Airport. The fact we're here means obviously this amazing few days in China have come to an end. And to be honest, these few days have left us absolutely captivated by this country and incredibly, incredibly excited to come back and explore different regions, different areas, different cities. So, so interested. Three days is all we needed to be absolutely captivated by China. But yeah, now it's time to move on. So thank you very much for watching this video and the last one from China and um, see you in the next one. Oh my God, there's so much more. You wanna take it and film? <laughs> I don't think anyone cares but for me. <laughs> Smells good. Oh.